Hey everyone, now very special news today, GPT-5 just came out with OpenAI stating that it's made a significant leap in state-of-the-art performance across coding, math, writing, health, visual perception, and more. And you can also see with these two examples, right, basically they use the same prompt for GPT-4.0 and for GPT-5 to basically create a, a poem about a widow in Kyoto keeps finding her late husband's socks in strange, strange places. With OpenAI stating that GPT-4.0's responses are more predictable, have a more predictable structure and rhyme scheme, while GPT-5 has a stronger ending, clear imagery, and striking metaphor. I've also noticed that if you want to kind of like create text with GPT-4.0, it looks more of like a templated version rather than with GPT-5, you actually get more emotion, you get more creativeness. And something very interesting for this channel as well, you can see GPT-5 has gotten quite an improvement when it comes to coding. And I'm particularly interested in looking at apps like this that we can end up building for this channel and seeing the quality of, of these apps. Let's use GPT-5 and let's start vibe coding some stuff. And by the way, if you like these videos, if you're interested in what you're watching, please feel free to join my Discord community where a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all around the world. And we basically get together almost every single day, every single weekday to basically talk about different things, different challenges, different projects that we're working on. So if you're interested in joining that, please click on that Discord invitation down below. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is maybe build something simple. In this case, what we can do is we can build a drawing app. So I can say, help me build a drawing app. It should have the ability to select the brush, thickness, paint in different strokes, different colors, undo or redo, and erase. Also, I'd like it to give me the ability to export my image. So let's go ahead and click on submit. And as expected, it starts off by writing down the code. And once it's done, you can see down here, we have this little, you know, pop up. It says code review, port to a language, fix bugs, add logs, and add comments. Now we can look at that later, but first thing that I wanna do is I wanna run this code. And we basically get this, right? We have everything that we asked for. We have the brush size. We have the ability to change the color. We have the ability to redo or undo and redo, and then we can export. Now the design isn't so nice, so I'm just gonna click on the X over here and go ahead and open this in the canvas again. And we're gonna try to maybe adjust the design, make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm saying make the design more modern looking. And as you can see, it's going down you know, line by line to kind of adjust certain things in the code. And then we can go ahead and run the code again, just to make sure. All right, and it's getting a little bit better modern, you know, we have a little bit better colors, I would say, we have a little bit of a shadow, but it's not really exactly a nice design, right? Let's be honest. I went into Magic Path and I actually, you know, added the same type of prompt. And as you can see, it's just one shot looking like this. We can even adjust some of the, we can even adjust the, the, the stroke width or the stroke to be like this, grab this pencil, draw something around, add the color. The color picker looks nice, right? We have this like nice rounded edge. We have preset colors over here, which is also very helpful. And then we can also, you know, erase certain things. Anyways, I'm interested down here if we can fix some bugs, if there's some bugs to be fixed. And let's see if it changed something so we can run the code. And now, as you can see, certain things were changed as in the in the previous version, this is kind of cut off and the the, you know, the shadow didn't really go through the whole thing, but now we get it looking nice. And none of the buttons are blue now before they were all blue. And now they're kind of like grouped into specific little groups. So that's looking pretty good, right? So everything still seems to work. And going back over here, I wanna see what port to a language does. If we click on this and we can maybe go to something like TypeScript, click on this, submit. All right, done. So now it says I created a new types, TypeScript React version with the same features. Um, you'll see it in the new canvas. All right, so let's go ahead and run the code. And now it's kind of loading over here, installing the packages and we get a, a similar design uh, but it's a little bit more, it's a little bit cleaner, right? Now we're gonna build something a little bit more advanced. We're gonna be building a game, uh, more of a Python game. So Python file using Pygame with the following requirements, Glow Cells Arena. Uh, basically it's like Agario, right? Where you, you're like a little blob and then when you eat little blobs, you get bigger, right? So goal, eat uh, pellets and smaller cells to grow while avoiding larger cells. Mouse movements, split space, eject mass W. So we have some shortcuts in the keyboard. The world is a large scrolling area with small camera and zoom based on size, advanced lighting. We have the, a specific type of UI. So let's go ahead and try to submit this. 
And as you can see, it's starting to analyze. And as we scroll down, it's building out all of this code for us. We have a configuration. We have utilities, simple SFX. We have entities. So this is basically the, the different cells, cameras. And we have high scores. We have inputs and events. And it's been already like a minute. So I'm really excited to see what, what this comes up with. All right. And once we have it at the end, we can we have the ability to download this as a file. And then what we have to do is we just have to basically copy these commands. All right. And we basically get a Python file looking like this, right? It's a little bit, you know, it's not the best, but we do get like an infinite canvas map. As you can see in the bottom, we get things kind of moving around. We get our little um, bubble running around, being able to eat other types of bubbles. And we can make some adjustments, adjustments like, you know, like the flickering bubbles, we can delete those. And also, you know, adding that the, our bubble should grow and, uh, when eating the smaller bubbles. And as you can see, my bubble does get larger. So these other, these are like other players and I have to eat the really small ones. And then I can go ahead and grab one of these guys, as you can see, then I get much larger and we don't have those flickering bubbles anymore, which is great. So these are just, you know, great little examples of what you can build here with, with ChatGPT. This is like another like game. I could go ahead and delete that pink border around my bubble and we can test out the space bar as you can see it kind of like releases stuff so it does work as you can see i'm like pressing the w and it releases like little little things and last but not least let's see how it does with building websites and let's say that you know a lawyer hired you to rebuild their website let's say it's this one right and as we can see it's kind of a you know simple design and then you find one like this which has a nice little design nice color system as you can see we have like these things on the side very, very nice design. They have an FAQ, for example. They have a nice contact section. All right, and what we can write here is, I need to rebuild this company's website. I like their style and their site structure. Could you rebuild this company's website with a similar design and structure? Let's go ahead and click on Submit. And I'm also gonna copy this prompt and bring it into Claude, just, you know, just to see how, what the difference is, right? And for starters, we can already start seeing that we have React code, Tailwind ready, uses shots, Yen style patterns. And Claude, while well, it's uh, you know loading, you can see that it's building with HTML. So right off the bat, you kind of expect that ChatGPT's design is going to be a little bit better. Click on Run Code, and wow, it does a really good job actually. There are a few things that you know can be improved, like with the colors, like here. But it understands the whole context of this specific law firm. It did come up with a few things, like for example, this. And as you can see, this is what Claude gave us and you know I, I i kind of expected the design not to be so good it did get the context right so shout out to claude for that i would say you know chat gpt basically takes the, the the crown for this and we can go ahead and do this fix bugs just to see if that improves anything and i'm not sure if it changed anything but yeah this is basically the final version that we get anyways let me know what you think guys try to build something with gpt5 today and let me know what you're building feel free to let me know in the comments what you're building i'd really love to know hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i see you next time goodbye